Hi friend, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see XSLT transform with mule ESB. So when I say XSLT, what does XSLT mean? XSLT is nothing. It convert one form of XML into the another form of XML. So why we require the XSLT? Basically, we are receiving message from source system that is in some different XML format. But when we want to send message to the destination system, they want the you know output in some different format. So you can use the XSLT. So you can transform the message using XSLT. So we will going to see how we can use the XSLT in a mule flow. So basically, I have a two file. This is input. Let me open with the Internet Explorer. Okay. I will say one. Okay. This is my input file. So this is a message I am receiving from the source system. But when I send to the destination system, they doesn't want all the information. They are interested in type, price, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and garage. See. So this is the information they require. So we can use the XSLT to transform the message. Let me show the XSLT also. Just a minute. Let me drag and drop XSLT. This is my XSLT. See, so I have defined like some, you know, this is some mandatory things you have to define at the top. Then I they say rental the property. Then I was reading the attribute value from the input message, reading the you know element value and assigning to the this number of bed bedrooms bathrooms fields okay this is how you can define your xslt it is very simple to define xslt so now i will start with any point studio i will say file new mule project i will say xslt mule app for runtime you can click 3.8.3 in your environment there can be a multiple runtime you can select anything depending on your requirement rest of the setting i will keep as a as it is i will say next next and finally i will say finish first thing i have to drag and drop a file inbound file connector okay then i will drag and drop one more file connector in the message processor region so why we require two file connector so we will okay for, from inbound file connector we will message we will receive the input message then we will transform using XSLT and then we will save our final output to the some you know output some output folder using outbound file connector so for that I will require two folder I will define two folder under source test resources I will say new folder in finish say new folder out finish okay now i have to configure both folder both file connector source test resources in here it says source test resources out okay now i will search for xslt transformer Okay, in XSLT transformer, you have to give a path of the file. So go to desktop. So this is where my XSLT is. But I will not do like that. This like this because always try to keep all your file related to project in a you know in your application itself. So what is the benefit of doing that? If you whenever you do production deployment or any deployment like on the QA server. All the resources which is available in your project, it will automatically add it in your package. Okay, let me go. What what I will do? I will drag and drop that XSLT file under source main resources. So where is my XSLT? This is my XSLT. I will drag and drop under source main resources. Now what I will do? I will give a path here. SRC main resources. I will say the dot XSLT. Okay, this is how you can define. There are various other settings like if you want different output encoding, you can define. You can define the inbound encoding, whatever. Okay, let me start the application. Okay.
application has been deployed. Now, what I will do? I will. I have an input file. I have shown you. This is my input file, and I want to output in this format. So, I will drag and drop input file in, in folder. Okay. See, as soon as I will drag and drop, it has done the transformation and saved the output to output folder. Let me refresh. Okay. I will say open with text editor. See, this is my output file. What is the input file I have used? See, this is my input file, and this is my output file. Okay, it is very simple to use XSLT in a Mule flow. So, what one point you have to keep in mind? Don't forget. So, if you have any XSLT, don't give a path from your local folder. Instead of that, you just you know copy your XSLT in the source main resources, okay, and then give the path from there. What is the advantage of doing that? Like whenever you will you could want to deploy the application to any server, so it will be the part of the package. You don't have to explicitly define, okay, explicitly you want to define the path again when you are doing the deployment, okay. So if you like my video, just subscribe it. Thanks for watching video. Hope you have enjoyed.